This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. Hello and welcome back to channel Tea Lovers. So if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel and also do not forget to click on our bell icon for our latest update. If you are totally new viewers on this channel, then our channel provides you the free domain, free hosting, free BCC card and many method how you can own the digital currency. If you got any problem related to any topic of my video or if you need any support regarding ads and approval or monetization, then you can directly contact on Tea Lover 2054 in the Instagram or you can join the Telegram channel from the link in the description below. Without wasting time, let's move for the today's content. In this topic of today, I'll teach you how you can get the free EDU mail and this EDU mail can help you to get benefit from the student github pack okay so in this video we'll just create the edu mail and from this edu mail we'll apply for the student github pack and this will provide you the student github pack and i'll provide you the step by step all the process how you can follow and get the free edu mail and student github pack from this video okay so in this video we'll just learn all this do not skip any part of this video and if you got any problem any confusion i'm available at tlover2054 in the instagram and this is my website tilaboraofficial.com by which you can get a lot of knowledge regarding tech and technology okay so we'll not waste our time and we'll move for the today's content to grab the free edu mail okay so first of all to get the free edu mail we have to apply for the college or university so that we can get a response or mail from this respective college and we can get the edu mail okay so likewise Today also we have got the new website which will provide you the free edu mail and if you just apply for this college you will surely get the free edu mail and in the second part of this video I'll just show you the live proof also but in this video we will just only apply for the edu mail okay so please apply for the edu mail first and you can see the result and you can get the edu mail as I have shown in the screen. To get the free edu mail we'll just go for the website here you have just seen the dollarscollege.edu you can just go from here and this is the url of this website by which you can get the free edu mail okay so this is the url i have just shown or display this url in the screen please check out this and go for this website so that you can access for this website and this website will look like this okay so this is the home page of this website which will provide you the free edu mail okay so we'll not waste time over here you can directly see option that apply now option over here so please click on the apply now and we are going to apply for this university to get the edu mail okay so just click on the apply now as soon as we'll just click on this you will redirect to this page where you can apply for the edu mail okay so here you have to just start our application to start our application we'll just click on the start your application once you just do this you will be redirected to the next page again and in this page you will create an account or you will just log in for this page here we do not have any account over here so obviously we'll go for the creating an account on this website so for that we'll just scroll down and here is the information by which you can create an account on this website okay so let's fill out this detail and continue over our edu mail okay so here it requires some user information so to grab this user information we'll just go for the new tab and here is the another website which will provide you the user address okay so just click on this website and this is the website which will provide you the address so please go for the respective website you can just look for the url of this website from here i have just displayed this website url over here and just to show down and you can just click for the text ads so that we can get the edu mail okay so we'll just choose the location as a text ads once you just do this then it will redirect on the next page where you can just find the detail of the person okay so this is the name of this person let's keep the first name over here and we'll just fill up all the information like i have just shown in the screen also okay so please check out this information that i have filled over here and this information will be exactly as i have just got from here okay so this will be implemented on this application as you can see that i have successfully provided the first name and last name but the email should be your own so this is my email you can just check over here just to scroll down and here you have to just choose for this option and if you still and if you still scroll down then you have to just click on the international student seeking admission to dallas college then you scroll down and here you have to just provide your username okay so here i am using your username as a tea lover you can mention any username that you want finally we have just set the password over here and we'll just scroll down and there is one option for the recaptcha we'll just click on this then it will just resolve our recaptcha then we have to just go for the save and continue okay so we'll just click on the save and continue once you just do this then you will be redirected to the next phase again by which you can apply for more okay 
as you see in the screen that this account has been activated and we have to continue for the, our application we'll just scroll down and here is the semester that we want to take the classes we'll just take the nearest session so we'll just click on the fall 24 after that we'll just scroll down the reason for attending we'll just go for the improving job skills after that we'll just scroll down and go for the select your first choice school so we'll just select over here as of on this option also please select one of the option here i'm just choosing for this you can just choose your information no worries the main thing is that you have to just select for the i intend to take all the courses online because we are going to apply this from online and we'll just click on the yes then we'll just go for the yes again and we have to just go for the no okay after that just scroll down and here is the biographical information part so here you have to just provide your social security number but this is mandatory over here and you can just get this assessment number over here okay so this is your assessment number copy it go for the same website and here you have to just paste but before that you have to just go for the new browser and paste over here then you have to just remove these symbols okay after that please copy it again and now we'll just go for the same website and here you will just go for the pasting this assessment once you just do this then you have to just go for the tick mark then scroll down date of birth we'll just set this date of birth as according to this address so here is the date of birth of this person that is 1983-625 okay so here we'll just update this thing over here so it will be the 1983 the day is 25 let's set it for 25 and the month is 6 okay so after that you have to just provide the information of your address so let's fill up this address information as according to here you can just look for that i have just updated the address over here you can just look over it and all this address is according to this address okay and here i have just set the year as 12 and the 8 month make sure that you have just fulfilled this thing over here so here on the ethnicity we'll just click on this last option then for the race also that is the last option so gender is female over here so you can just check for the gender over here so it is female we have just selected the gender over here just go down what is your primary language we'll just select as english okay so please provide the language as english so here on the citizenship option you have to just select for the as and all these mandatory option will be optional then scroll down on the military veteran starts you have to just click on the none of the above then we'll just go for the emergency contact now you can just keep any of the contact name okay for example this is the last name we'll just copy this and i just set any name of the person for example jones so we'll just give the last name also after that we'll just click on the emergency contact phone number and this emergency contact phone number will be this okay so scroll down and you can get the number also over here okay so this is the phone number copy this and we'll just paste this number over here okay so here i have just provided the phone number as i can doing to this you can look over here and scroll down and go for the save and continue again so on this option on the high school option you have to just select for the version as english and gd as tx okay that is text x and select for the second option okay so just scroll down so on this option we'll just set this option as 2015 note it down just scroll down and go for this Texas high school and you have to just select for one of the school over here okay so you can select any of this school here i am just selecting as a amateur high school then after you scroll down and you have to just go for this but this is optional one we'll just leave this also and you have to just select for this option as a no on the both and you have to just go for this first one okay i have no previous college experience okay if you just do this scroll down again and there is the college code and the last attendant year this option is mandatory so we'll just keep as a well college code okay so for example we we'll just click over here and we can get some college code over here once you just tick on this once you just tick on this i have no previous college experiences then this option will be optional just scroll down you can just leave this so here on this which of the following base applied for you we'll just click on this option and this is the option that we have selected okay we'll just scroll down again and go for the save and continue once you just do this then we are on the third page here you have to just go for the credit enrollment so here on this third option we'll just scroll down and we'll just keep as this first option as a no just skip all this part and on this c part here you have to just click on the yes once you just do this just scroll down and go for the part d and here you will just click on the as as please note it down and on the e option you can just choose the option as no as and you have to just click for the parents or guardian okay once you just do this also please go for the save and continue so here on the fourth page you can find all the pages are so so here on the fourth page you can find that all these pages are optional so we'll just scroll down directly and go for the 
save and continue okay so we just click on the save and continue and finally we are on the fifth page where we have to just review and submit for the application of this enrollment okay so we'll just apply for the college so just go down you can just leave some comment over here and here you have to just check the electronic signature check box so just go down this is the box that i want to show you as you can just see that you have to just check this option electronic signature and scroll down and go for the save and continue and finally your application will be submitted okay you can just look over here as at the last you can just review all the information that you have provided over here and just check that your information is correct or not okay once you just do this you have to just scroll down and go for submitting this so i have just review all these things we'll just go for the save and continue and we have successfully applied for the college and this is how we have just submitted our application so we have to just click on the submit my application to submit the application for this so finally we have applied for the application for our admission and if you just scroll down you can just see for the congratulation option and just scroll down and there is some code that you need to go further okay for example this is your code and this code will be used to create or get the edu login for your website okay so to get the edu login we'll just click on this eConnect.ddc then you will just find this option now we have to just scroll down and go for the option that i am new to eConnect okay so we'll just click on this i am new to eConnect we'll just go for the set of my eConnect account once you just do this then you have to just provide your last name date of birth and you have to just go for submit in this application we'll just provide the last name date of birth and assertion over here okay so in this option you can just see that i have just provided the last name of this person birth date and i have just used the seven digit college id so i have just got this id on the during the submission of this edu mail okay just scroll down and go for the submit and finally our e-connect has been corrected and we have to just provide the new password to continue over here okay so just set a password over here once you just submit this then you are able to log in on this website then we'll just go for the login to e-connect okay so we'll just click on the login to e-connect now here you have to just provide your student id and password to go further for this website okay this was my student id that i have got from during the application then i'll just use the password over here and we'll just go for the submit okay once you just do this then you will be able to log in on this website now you can just connect this edu mail so for that we have to just go for the continue education slash work post now to access the edu mail from this website you will be on this page scroll down and at the end of this page you can just get the get your dallas college student email so just click on this student email option and then you can just find that here you can just click for your student email information okay now to log in for the student email you can just go for this edu mail id over here and you have to just provide the edu mail like this and you can just provide your password and you can just go for the signing okay so this is how you can create the free edu mail and log in for this dallas college and if you like the video please hit on the like option do not forget to click on the subscribe and bell icon for our latest update and log in back with you bringing more content like this till then have a good day and you can enjoy your edu mail from here okay so this is how it will work for you if you got any problem any confusion you can contact on over two zero five four in the instagram or comment in the comment section below okay thank you for watching this video thank you